What's going on, creepers and geekers? Terry Creep here. Um, probably not the best place to be doing this, but I'm in the vehicle. It's uh, about 10, 15 Saturday evening, and I'm on my way somewhere uh, semi-special. It's not so much where I'm going, it's what I'm doing when I get there. Uh, a buddy of mine is really handy with things. He's going to bring me to the 21st century, and uh, as soon as I pick it up, get it home I'll record another video and show you guys what this is gonna be all about super excited about this one guys um, I think this is great for my second video and uh, I'm gonna sign off for right now so I don't kill myself or anyone else on the freeway and I'll be right back with you guys okay okay bye bye guys uh, made it safe and sound to my destination it's coming out now whatever could you have for me there it is, guys. Inside this bag contains the reason for this trip. And hopefully, I will get home soon enough and I'll be able to plug her in and show you guys what it's all about. Hey, uh... Thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time here, awesome. Thank you so much. If this isn't and you've seen my other video, then thanks for coming back, despite the sloppiness of the other video. Um, I wanted to do this real quick before I even got into this, um, this deal I got. This video isn't for or against emulation. Um, for years and years and years, I fought it. There's just something about holding the cartridge in your hand, or in this case, CDs now, and popping that game in. And just playing it and you know the little ritual that comes with blowing into it and rubbing it and you know doing your little voodoo dance or whatever it is you do to get them to work um <clears throat> but there are uh for a number of reasons many games that i personally just can't acquire and i'm sure some of you have the same issues whether it be the value of them uh right now in the market or space issues um i i kind of have both right now so you know, I'm a 9 to 5 kind of guy. Only got so much money to spend on this junk and only so much room to store it in. So a buddy of mine had a Wii that wouldn't read discs. Um, and he tends to do this a lot. He'll buy a bunch of cheap Wiis that won't read discs and he'll emulate them and he'll just sell them. But he won't sell them for too much, 50 bucks or whatever. Because um, I guess the emulation part of it's free. Then you just download the bin files and all that stuff. Um, I'm not, I don't know what the hell... You know, he does half the time with the stuff. But long story short, he just said, screw it. I'm just going to put one together for you. And uh, and he just gave it to me. So um, so let me uh, flip this camera around. And we'll show you what's going on inside of it. There's a few different systems in there. Um, obviously, the some Atari stuff. Because it wouldn't be mine if it wasn't. But, you know, I'm pretty excited about it. You know, some of it looks great. Some of it doesn't. So what? Games are still fun. So let me flip the camera around and we'll get to it, okay? Bye-bye. So uh, here's the home screen once you fire it up. Um, I'm sure a lot of this is nothing new to any of you guys, but to me it is. Uh, I'm not a complete technological idiot, but again, there's just some things I just thought was sacrilege until now. So um, simply, you know, I've got your Wiimote. Let's fire it up. And uh, we'll start here. We got an Atari 2600. We got 7800. We got the good old NES and Super NES. We got my baby, the Genesis. Game Boy Advance. Nintendo 64. And then he just threw in some random games, and there's some over in here, but we're not going to get into that. Um, some Ninja Gaiden or Gaiden, however you want to say it. He even threw in a MAME. In case I want to throw this into a cabinet somehow. Um, I'm pretty handy with that kind of stuff with hardware. So who knows, maybe I'll take that. Uh, but also up here, there's a, a USB deal. And he did. He threw a USB in the back. And he made, you know, obviously I can get an external hard drive too if I really needed to. But put a whole grip of games on that too. So, I mean, I'd say with all of this, like, let's go on to 2600 real quick. Yeah, I figured they would go with this song, right? Far memories of this game. And now I'm just using a standard GameCube controller. 
um, to move around if it'll ever load up. And uh, here you go. Here's all the it's all the games. I mean, it's no different than having like a, uh, a Harmony cartridge that has all the bin files on a little dealio. Um, but I mean, there's endless, endless, endless Atari games. So let's go back. Go home. It comes firing back up. And let's go to NES. Now some of the games, um, you have to play with the Wiimote. Some of you can play with the uh, GameCube game. Let's let that focus up a little bit. Hopefully it will. There we go. Um, you know, you go left to right to go to page 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 to page. page. Um, so that's basically it. Let's let's throw a game in that I'm not very good at, and um, look like an idiot in front of everyone who's watching this real quick, just to give you an idea. Uh, let's find Contra. There it is. Let's get us a little bit of volume. So yeah, that's that's basically it, man. I mean, there's really nothing more to show. So as you can probably see, some of the emulation, if you could even see the screen at all, um, is a little off. Sound is pretty good for the most part. A lot of the sprites tend to have these little lines through it whenever there's some heavy activity, if you're fighting or if you get hit and you know, you're losing some power or whatever. But for the most part, I mean, if you just want to play the damn game and you don't feel like spending, say, the $800 to $1,000 that Earthbound commands these days, Bam, I got it right there, and I do, and I haven't played it yet. Um, where this is going to become useful, uh, if you saw in the beginning, I put a little plug in there for a group called the uh, Cartridge Brothers, a couple of guys up north, really cool guys, I've been talking to them, they're part of the Gamer Geek Nation as well, and they have this thing called the, uh, the Club, where once a month, almost like a book club, they announce a game, and uh, you play it, and you know you discuss it afterwards or whatever, share it. You know, helpful hints with each other and stuff. So I think that's pretty cool, and uh, hopefully I'll be getting, you know, to get involved with something like that with them. Now that I have endless, endless games, not that it's the right way to do it. I should probably try to find the games first, but if I can't or I can't afford it, I got them. So um, I hope you dug this video. Uh, again, some of this is probably not going to be anything new for most of you guys, but to me it is, and I was pretty excited to have this. I mean had it for over a week now and I my lady's starting to get a little aggravated. I was spending a lot more time with it than with her. But uh, so guys I uh, hope so far your holiday season's going well. And remember the Gaming Geek Nation, twenty thousand plus strong. Atari Creep signing out saying thanks for coming by and bye bye. <laughs>